Hey there, welcome to Sea of Parking and welcome to the Barton Creek Mall parking lot. We're here today to pit three contestants against each other to see whose parking related knowledge of Austin and across the country is the greatest. Who will sail in to the Sea of Parking? So now, let's welcome our three contestants. We have Ashley Lackix. Ashley, ahoy. Ahoy. <laughs> is it true you like cleaning toilets with your bare hands? I can't say that I do. Fair enough. We also welcome Adire Orobete. Hello, hello. Adire, you are a student. Yes, I am a student. <laughs> Finally, we have contestant number three, Eric Goff. Eric, ahoy. Ahoy. Now, Eric, I've heard that when someone wants to choose between powering their ship with coal or wind turbines, they come to you, is that correct? Always. Well, are you three ready to sail your ship straight into the sea of parking? Yep. Are we ever? Ahoy. <laughs> Ashley, Adire, and Eric, I'm going to ask you seven parking-related questions. Whoever gets the most out of seven questions wins a prize that shall be revealed at the end of this show. Question number one. In 2016, how many football fields worth of parking was there just in downtown Austin? Ashley, reveal your answer. 4.2673. Adire, reveal your answer. 15. 15. Eric Goff. 23. And the actual answer is 490 football fields. What? No. What? Yes, aha. We're going to give that to Eric. Question number two. If all the parking in the new 6th and Guadalupe, and yes, that's how they pronounce it in Austin, skyscraper in downtown Austin were spread out on the ground, how many city blocks would it cover? <laughs> Ashley. 10 tacos. Huh? <laughs> Adire. How many city blocks? 42. Eric Goff, eight. The correct answer is nine city blocks. Huh. Eric. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Question three. Austin requires 1.7 parking spaces to be built for every new household. Over the past 10 years, how many tacos could have been bought for the same price as all that parking? <laughs> Ashley, reveal ye answer. <laughs> Adire, reveal. And Eric Goff, reveal your answer. I'm happy to hear about that one there. Very important. The actual answer is 825 million tacos. What? Oh, but I won. I was closer. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, I mean. No. <laughs> yeah. We're going to give it to Adire for her 100,000, which is still 824 million, 900,000 tacos short of the actual answer. <laughs> Nonetheless, Adere wins it. Question four. If I, Captain Crap Land Use, were to open a salty neighborhood bar just outside of central Austin to comply with city parking rules, how would my parking lot compare to the size of the bar itself? <laughs> Let's reveal our answers, starting with Ashley. 
a deer eh? Two times the size of the fire. And Eric? The actual answer is the amount of parking that would have to be provided at the neighborhood bar would be three times as large as the bar itself. I think we're going to give that to Adire. All right. She is glowing with joy. <laughs> Question number five. In the United States, how many parking spaces are there per car? Ashley. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Adire. I said four billion. Four billion parking spaces per car in the United States. Oh. 3.4 per car. 3.4, okay. And Eric Goff. Three. Ooh. Okay, the actual answer is in the United States, there are eight parking spaces per car. That's too many. In the United States, there are 990 square feet of space per car, and there is 800 square feet of housing per person. So the correct answer is eight spaces per car, which means Adire gets her third point. Question number six. San Francisco has no parking requirements citywide apart from one specific kind of business. What is it? The best guess guess the point. <music> Ashley, reveal your answer. It's got to be grocery stores. Grocery stores, okay. Commercial, like commercial okay businesses businesses <laughs> well that's all businesses um never mind okay i mean like goldman sachs and all those kind of eric goff homeless shelters so the one type of business that has minimum parking requirements in san francisco is actually a mortuary which is required to have eight parking spaces i think i'm going to have to award this to ashley because she's lovely <laughs> question number seven how long will it take me to run to the edge of the parking lot and back? Ashley, depends on your sea legs. Ahoy! <laughs> Adire. I said 20 seconds. I had more faith seconds. than you. Oh, she thinks I've got a few less years on me than I have. <laughs> Eric, four minutes and four seconds. The correct answer was one minute and 17 seconds. It looks like Adire is the closest. <laughs> So the final scores are in after seven questions. Ashley has one point. Eric has two points. But at four points, reigning supreme in the sea of parking is Adire. For her prize, Adira gets free parking at the Barton Creek parking lot. Wow. Everybody gets free parking. <laughs> the sea of parking awaits you when our program returns after this. So 
contestants, in the first part of this game show, I was the judge. But now, you are going to be the judges in the Sea of Parking photo contest. <laughs> For the Sea of Parking photo contest, people from across Austin submitted photos of the most outrageous parking they could find. And you are going to judge your favorite photo from the submissions. You've been given envelopes with the photos in. You haven't seen these photos, correct, Eric? That's right. Okay. Just checking. I'm going to ask you to pull out the first photo to judge. This photo is the 7th and Guadalupe development parking garage juxtaposed wow. with the historic John Bremond house. This photo juxtaposes an elegant Victorian mansion with an even more elegant 11 story plus parking garage. It's sad. Like it's a, not great. Yeah, the house is beautiful and then there's a big concrete structure right next to it. I can only assume that this uh, mansion's been converted to small apartments, is that right? <laughs> no, it's probably an Airbnb. <laughs> all right, probably an Airbnb. <laughs> well, I think we all agree that the parking garage is a triumph. Photo number two, contestants. This is the area in North Austin bounded by Howard Lane, McAllen Pass and Palmer Lane. This photo was overlaid by the Sea of Parking production crew to highlight 40 acres of destinations and 130 acres of parking. It looks like a parking lot full. <laughs> it looks like a parking lot full of lava. It's like you might as well go for the parking and the destinations are secondary. I just wonder if maybe this is too much parking. Nonsense. Take out photo number three. This is 405 Colorado in downtown Austin. This attractive building features 25 stories, 12 floors of which are parking. According to the developer, these 12 floors of parking make 405 Colorado one of the easiest places to park in downtown Austin. It looks like a squid is eating a gorgeous building from below. Is, it, is, is the color right? Is it orange? I think it's that color is called sickly. Oh, okay. Yeah. It looks like a kid forgot their Lego parts. <laughs> <laughs> that is nice. Photo number four. The 1886 Houghton House converted into the Stokes parking garage. Located at 12th and Guadalupe Street, a block away from the state capital, the Houghton House became a locally famous landmark as a stunning example of Victorian architecture. This house was torn down in 1973 to make way for the Stokes parking garage featuring eight floors of p -p 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 parking. I think it's so sad that we tore down such a beautiful building. Like this could have been a museum or anything and we made it a parking garage. Well, not we, I didn't have it. <laughs> Ashley. It's terrible. It's just a square. It literally is just a square. I noticed that the old mansion already had a parking sign in front of it. So I don't know why this was even needed in the first place. Photo number five the pit of parking of a building under construction close to the intersection of Burnett Road and Anderson Lane in North Austin. This was submitted by Mimi Moore. Ahoy. Mimi says, I submitted this hellish photo because it brings to mind what it looks like when a city declares war on itself. With similar pits and enormous towers of pure parking on the way, Austin will need a lot of bullets to keep shooting itself in the foot so many times in the coming years. It looks like it's the pits. Uh-huh. I, I truly don't even know what to say. Like, look at all the nature that they have to probably like cut away just so that they could put this parking garage. I have one of these next to my house. Well, judges, you have five photos before you. Now it's time to make the hardest decision you've ever made today. Which is your top photo from this parking selection photo potpourri across Austin. Is it number one, the 7th and Guadalupe parking garage? Number two, the area in North Austin? Is it number three, 405 Colorado in downtown Austin? Is it number four, the 1886 Houghton House converted into the Stokes parking garage? Or number five, 
is at the parking pit near Burnett Road and Anderson Lane. Ashley, what is your top pick? You know, it's just so hard to choose. Well, you're gonna have to, ahoy! I think I'm gonna go with the downtown location. You're going for 405 Colorado Street in downtown Austin, submitted by little Greggy Kylo. Adira, what is your top pick? Um, I'm gonna go with, uh, I don't know what the name of this one was. It's the 7th and Guadalupe yeah. parking garage, juxtaposed with the somewhat less beautiful historic John Bremond house. Yeah, this one really speaks to me because like, we all love Austin because it's so green, but if we keep building parking and everything, we're just gonna ruin all the things that are good about Austin. Oh, come on, Adira, more parking is more traffic. Don't you love that? Eric Goff, what is your pick for best photo? We have the 405 Colorado building in downtown Austin. 25 stories with 12 stories of parking. Okay, it looks like Greg Kylo has won the photo contest. Congratulations, Greg. Contestants, thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of Sea of Parking. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us here. Thank you for enjoying this wonderful expanse of asphalt, which I think we can all agree is the best use of precious land in our cities. <laughs> <laughs> Sail away with Captain Crapland Juice and his companions as they set a course for new adventures in the Sea of Parking! <laughs>